Welcome to lesson number 11, module 6 of the Apache Spark and Scala course. So, in this particular lesson, we will be looking at the Kafka integration with Spark Streaming. So, to quickly recap, in the last lesson, we have learned about uh, the fault tolerance of Spark Streaming. And we also looked at a basic introduction to Kafka and also Zookeeper. So, in this lesson, we will learn about the Kafka integration with Spark, the Kafka Utilities API and the word count example. So, like I have explained in the last lesson, uh, Kafka is a very reliable uh, publish subscribe based distributed messaging system, which can be very well integrated with Spark Streaming. Now, in case of Spark Streaming, Kafka can be considered as the source of our input stream. Now, the Spark Streaming application can connect with the Kafka cluster, get the data, process it, and then store it either back onto the Kafka cluster or to other places such as HDFS, a non-SQL no database, or even a dashboard. So Kafka provides the Kafka Utilities API, which is a set of library containing tools to interact with Kafka clusters. Now, this Kafka Utilities API will allow you to list the cluster, balance the partition, check for available partitions, and check for distributions, replicas, so on and so forth. Now, when we are using the Spark streaming application, we will be using the Kafka Utilities API to connect to the Kafka cluster. So, let's have a look at uh, how to create the uh, Kafka Utilities API and how to use them in Spark streaming. Now, when we are using the Kafka Utilities API, it uses a method called a create direct stream. Now, this will create a stream uh, without actually creating a D stream. I mean, the Kafka create direct stream will be creating a D stream, but it will not employ a receiver. So, remember in the previous examples and all, we were creating a receiver and pulling the data. But when you use the Kafka Utilities API, this will create an input stream that can directly pull the data from a Kafka broker without the help of a receiver. Now, this has another advantage. This will ensure that each message is pulled exactly once. That means whatever uh, transformations we are writing will be applied exactly once to an RDD. Now, in order to create an input stream that can pull data from uh, Kafka, you can type public static receiver input D stream. You can have a Scala tuple with string. Then you can say create stream, streaming context SSC dot string ZK quorum string group ID Scala dot collection dot immutable map. And then you can have string and object topics comma storage level. So let's have a closer look at the parameters that were being supplied in there. So the SSC is the streaming context object. Uh, ZK quorum stands for the zookeeper quorum. Uh, group ID is the consumer's group ID. And topics, you can mention what topic you want to subscribe to. And the storage levels can be memory, disk, depending on where you want to store the received objects. Now, let's have a look at uh, recreating our word count example using the uh, Kafka integration. Now, the transformations on the day stream will be exactly same as we were doing without the Kafka. The only difference here is the creation of day stream from Kafka. So, here you can see that I'm creating a context uh, by typing new streaming context configuration in seconds one. Then I'm creating my uh, first D stream by typing by lines equal to Kafka utilities dot create stream and I'm passing the context and parameters. 
So here you can see that I start applying the transformations. I'm creating a new D stream called words by applying the flat map transformation. So here I am creating a word counts D stream by applying the uh, map and reduce by key transformation on the original D stream we had in the last slide. And here you can see that at last I'm printing the uh, final D stream and starting the context. So to wrap up in this particular lesson, we have learned about Kafka integration with Spark streaming the Kafka Utilities API and a very simple word count example. So that's all for this lesson and we wind up the module as well. Thank you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to raise a support ticket. Thank you.